this uh, financial services company, Sim will figure the number one wow. financial services company. It also figures on among the top 20 uh, companies in terms of number of shareholders. Uh, it has currently some 2,300 shareholders and this number is expected to increase following its listing, enabling therefore the company to bring its own contribution to the process of economic democratization by allowing a relatively large number of Mauritians to be a part of the company's present and future. Uh, quite a lot of it. I, I was sort of there in a different role in the, uh, at, at the beginning. In fact, the first business that Sin did was the hire purchase. And in fact, we knew nothing about hire purchase, but these nasty foreigners arrived, of course. Uh, you may remember some of you who are old enough for instance. And you know, they took the market by storm. I mean, you know, they were offering uh, finance and they were offering goods. It's goodness gracious, what are we going to do? So we said, well, you know, if it's good for them, it's got to be good for us. So that's how we started. Uh, I must say, we nearly went bankrupt after two years because we didn't quite understand the business. But luckily, luckily, we did then understand it. And uh, Eric Marfat and then Cyril came along and we now really understand it. And you know, basically, we bank unbankable people. The sort of people we look after, bankers, they, they don't even go in banks, they're frightened of banks. So uh, this has been very good for us and we've expanded from that to other financial services, as you know. We were the second, I think, um, of the, uh, the leasing companies. Uh, yes, credit cards, as uh, Sunil said, we were the first non-banking institution in Africa. Uh, we ended up being partners with him and we were the first management company. We knew nothing about this. We knew little about Mr. Henwood. And after some time, actually, uh, we separated, which was wonderful. Have Sydney Bathroom to thank for that. He was, they got on so badly that the only thing to do was to separate, and that was wonderful as well. Uh, and of course, we um, then bought Multiconsult, which uh, was a challenge, but we won't go into that. Uh, but the good thing in all of this today is that we are the leading uh, management company in the offshore sector. Not that the offshore sector doesn't have some, um, some challenges, which I will touch on in a moment. But, uh, so we've very much grown up over the years. It's not been the thing that was suddenly created. It was little steps, it was uh, small, uh, and you know, which got bigger, etc. And then the key moment in a way was 2005, when Rogers reorganized into three entities, uh, Serena, now defunct, uh, Sim, and Rogers, because it was considered too complicated and too complex to manage uh, as a, a one unit. So that's when SIM was created and Sunil uh, Manuandam was the first CEO and he did very well and he passed over to Vaughan some four years ago, Vaughan? Um, four years ago. Four and a half.